So you might see behind me lots and lots of instruments, which also means lots and lots of different choices. But the question we most often get asked when someone's coming in, especially parents, when they come into the shop is, when do I know when it's time to upgrade? So I thought I'd take a few minutes, spend it with you to talk about some of the thoughts that I have in terms of knowing when and making the right decision when you do upgrade. So stay tuned to this video. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Thanks again for being such great supporters of the shop. I really, truly appreciate it so much. Thank you. You are the best, or the best. Um, if you have a moment, hit the subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. You'll get exclusive access to these videos first when they come online. And soon, we're going to be adding some extra fun to our YouTube channel. Um, so here we are. We're in a trumpet shop full of tons of different horns at different price points and quality levels. We want to, to talk to you, especially about trying to figure out when is the good time to upgrade and, and also knowing just how and when to figure that out. So I put together six little tips here that hopefully you'll enjoy and we can talk about. So let's start right off the top. This is an easy one, right? Let's talk about this. What's holding you back? Now, certain horns, we just got a horn in a few days ago. It's super cool. It's a 1922 York trumpet style cornet and it plays okay. And it plays okay because the valves are from 1922 and they are completely shot. So what's holding you back? Could your horn be holding you back? If a horn is a certain age, if it's been beat to a hand-me-down of a hand-me-down of a hand-me-down of a hand-me-down and not been maintained. If the horn is a Walmart special, we'll say, or uh, there's so many horns coming from different parts of the globe uh, that are suspect. Now we have a great line of instruments that are made to our specs in China for us, our doubler series and then our 2RL, which we'll talk about in this video a little bit. But the thing about it is we actually work on them once we get them as well. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of a buyer beware uh, on some of that stuff. But when we're talking about old horns, things to notice when an older horn might be failing is how clean is the articulation in the low register? Is it, does it get a little slippery in the upper register? Um, you'll feel a lot of back pressure, especially on your corners when the valves have poor compression. So what is holding you back? The, which brings me to the next obvious tip. How much are you practicing? Practice? You talking about practice? But seriously, how much are you putting in time-wise in your practicing? No horn plays itself. I have worked so very hard trying over the years to find a horn that played itself. And while we're pretty pretty close with the new uh, line of custom Adams trumpets, they still don't play it practice themselves. And so we have to get into the trenches and do our own part of trench warfare. But uh, you can't expect to buy an $8,000 trumpet and expect to sound like Wynton Marsalis without putting the time in. Wynton didn't miss a day of practice from age 12 to 18. Uh, there's, there's that factor that we obviously have to make sure that people understand. Our job here is to fit you with the, the best horn that you can afford, which comes up to the next part. You know, what is your budget? And I'm going to show you a few horns right now because you'll often say, well, I don't really have enough money for a, a good horn. Now, there's been a few videos recently. We did a video of, uh, in fact, uh, well, hold on. I'm going to show you a horn that's actually not part of this discussion. But it, it's actually a, a great example of something that you can buy that you might say, well, uh, 
I don't know, maybe this horn is holding me back. This is a Blessing ML1. Um, it was part of our bargain bin uh, video we did recently. We did a live stream of the bargain bin trumpets we have. We have so many horns at really fair prices. Um, this horn is $300. Uh, you can't buy, and this horn is great. This is the new, uh, this is a new Jupiter 700, and it's a really great student trumpet, but that's maybe $800, $900, but it's a great student trumpet, and it's quite durable. Now, this horn doesn't look the best, but I'm going to bring that tip back up. You could still get a great playing horn at this price point. So let me play this for a second. Oh, that's practice tip two. Um, now people say, well, you can make a garden hose sound great. Nah. Well, that goes back to practice. That goes back to practice tip two. Yes, practicing helps for sure. It's the most important thing. But this horn, professional horn, it's going to sound pretty good. Now, this isn't my ribbon mic. This is just uh, the mic that's attached to my camera here. But it's a good quality mic. Is it as good as my custom Adams with a sterling silver bell? No, but that Adams was uh, over $4,000. This is $300, but still, still a fine horn. You can get good horns. You have to be sure to find the right sources. That's one of the things we pride ourselves on at ACB, finding a great horn at any price point. So, which leads us to tip number four. What do you want? Well, I want a horn that plays double C instantly. I want a horn that weighs 26 uh, grams. I want a horn. There, there always has to be a reason. Uh, a, 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 like, you can't expect to get, you know, the, the truly highest quality in the lower price point, like that $300 blessing. But it's American made. It's really a good quality. They marketed it as a professional trumpet when they made it. So it's very solid. So, but again, what do you want? Maybe you want, maybe, and this is the thing, like people think of a professional trumpet as having a um, fixed ring. The, well, the Adams A9 has an adjustable ring. So you can, you can put that in your, in your wish list for that. Uh, for sure. What do you want? This is where I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, some some really important parts about how the horn's playing. Now, I had mentioned about compression. When a, when a horn has poor compression, it's very hard to find where the slotting is. You want to be able to decide, and maybe you need to, you know, solicit your teacher's opinion uh, or friends that are players around you. You have to decide what's important to you. Certain horns for myself, just personally, will res respond quicker than others. It's one of the reasons I love the current setup I'm playing. Um, because of the Sterling Silver Bell, it responds almost instantaneously to my playing. Other people might play it and they go, wow, that's really brittle. Because Sterling Silver, is it's a love it or hate it sort of feeling when it comes to that. But um, weight, the balance of a horn. You can find a whole bunch of horns that are exactly the same price that'll have different balance points. Speaking of, remember we talked about the student horn at, at a certain price point. I would really love for someone who's looking to upgrade to just jump over an intermediate instrument. Uh, intermediate's a, it's, a, it's basically something that marketers put in to just sort of charge more money for a horn that's maybe or may or may not be better. Uh, case in point, the Yamaha 4000 series is an incredible trumpet. Not that well known here in the United States, um, more in Europe and Australia, but it's an awesome trumpet. I have friends who are professionals in New York City who play that horn. Uh, it's just in, in name sake. This horn, this is the ACB2RL, uh, reverse lead pipe horn, fixed ring, 
nickel inner slides, pre precision valve alignment. Oh, it also has cool buttons. Yes, this is a horn that I love and I promote. This is our professional trumpet. We call it entry level professional. You can't afford a box Stradivarius or an Adams A2. You can grab this horn. This horn is, I gotta look, $879. Oh, this is an A stock one. So it might be a, a, right around a thousand bucks, but I was like, that, that right seems low. But this is $879 and the horn plays great. Hold on, I'm gonna play it for you. Turn down my mic. I would totally play this on a gig, and I have. All of the doubler's horns I've taken on gigs and made sure that I was very comfortable with them. Does it play as well as my Adams? No. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. It's also a fifth the price. Um, but you could also get something like this, which is a vintage, this is a vintage Con 2B. It's right around the same price on our web store. This is from the 40s, I think. Great little horn. A little older, yes. Totally a great horn. I would easily play that. Now, when you go to something like an Adams A2, you'll feel and hear the difference in the refinement of the sound, I think. All are similar, and somebody might say, hey, I like you on the 2RL. Now, playability-wise, this one plays better for me. It feels better, feels more comfortable, but it's also closer to what I play. Um, final tip. Simple. Simple things here. If you have questions about your instruments, and, and when you feel like, oh, I, it's stuffy, it's not responding, or um, things. Uh, one thing I want to mention, this is super important, make sure your instrument is serviced on an at least an annual basis, if not a little bit more often than annually, uh, like eight months or so. It's important to make sure that the inside of your horn is just as spick and span and spotless as the outside. Keeping the horn free of debris, keeping the lead pipe clean and preventing red rot, which is desinctification, which is basically rust inside of a trumpet, oiling your valves on a routine basis, things like that are way more valuable than you'll probably put on, oh, I oil my valves less. Well, when they stick, I oil them. I oil my valves, if they're feeling good or not, at least once a week, it, more often like every few days. Uh, just makes sense. Valve oil is cheap, valve rebuilds are not cheap. So, um, but the biggest thing here, if you have questions, find a tech, find a shop, anybody in this area, it's more than welcome to, to pick our brains uh, or call us. We're here to help find great gear, regardless of your, your budget. So have fun, remember, have fun. This is super important. The more you play, the more excited you are to play, the more energized you are to play, the easier and more productive it gets without fault. If you have any additional questions, we're here for you. Just uh, email us, info at austincustombrass.com, 816-410-0826. Hit the subscribe button. If you made it this far, you win an award. Uh, I don't know what the award is. Maybe a free pen. Thanks again for watching all of our videos. Stay tuned to the next tutorial, I guess. Take care. Cheers.